हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग फ्रेकोजेनिक ग्लोकोमाज मींस लेंस इंड्यूस ग्लोकोमाज एंड दीज आर वन ऑफ द सिंपलेस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड सो द फेकोजेनिक ग्लोकोमाज आर द सेकेंडरी ग्लोकोमाज व्हिच अकर ड्यू टू अ ऑक्यूलर कॉम्प्लिकेशन मींस अ कॉम्प्लिकेशन इन द लेंस नाउ दीज कैन आइदर बी अ सेकेंडरी एंगल क्लोजर ग्लोकोमा और दीज कैन बी एन ओपन एंगल सेकेंडरी ग्लोकोमाज so uh, secondary angle closure glaucoma mainly have two causes a phacomorphic cause means there is a change in morphology of lens like a swollen lens that occurs in a hypermature cataract hypermature morganian cataract so this swollen lens is one of the cause for angle closure glaucoma and other one is phacotopic glaucoma where there is anterior displacement of the lens so pushing the iris so pathogenesis of these two are almost similar that a swollen lens and a anteriorly displaced lens pushes the iris forward hence closing the iridocorneal angle and hence uh, disturbing the drainage of aqueous increasing the iop the other mechanism which is secondarily induced due to this is that the irido lenticular contact occurs irido lenticular contact occurs and this result further in blockade of drainage of aqueous from posterior chamber to anterior chamber now diagnosis is very simple for these phacomorphic glaucomas because they will present as acute congestive glaucomas plus since this is a cataractous lens we will see a cataractous lens here so the diagnosis become easy and treatment we go for a medical treatment initially for management of iop and when and once the eye is in the rest we go for a posterior chamber iol implantation so this these two are the main causes of angle closure glaucoma going with the secondary open angle glaucomas so these are phacolytic glaucomas and lens particle glaucomas and phaco antigenic or phaco anaphylactic glaucomas going for phacolytic glaucomas the main point here to understand is that the capsule of the lens is intact so here the lens protein diffuse out from the lens and cause a trabecular clogging so here a intact capsule and there is a clogging at the trabecular meshwork so here also this occurs in the presence of a morganian cataract which releases the lens particle through a intact capsule so in this case uh, the diagnosis becomes easy by uh, observing a acute congestive glaucoma plus a cataract and due to lens particle in anterior chamber we may see a pseudo hypopion and here the treatment involves a medical management to control the iop and later on on a resting eye we place a posterior chamber iol going on for a lens particle glaucoma these occur following a surgery or a trauma or a traumatic lens rupture it may be accidental or there can be a extra capsular cataract extraction so this surgery when uh, the lens particle are not completely cleared out the remnant remain inside and these remnant may clog again the anterior chamber angle similarly as in the case of phacolytic and this may result in an acute iop increase and what else we may see is that anterior chamber may lens particle the treatment here is also the medical management to control the iop and later on we go for irrigation and aspiration of the lens particle from the chamber the last one is the phaco antigenic so here an antigen antibody response occurs and this is an acute inflammatory reaction involving our uveal tissue of the eye the main point here to understand is that the and a phaco antigenic reaction the antigen antibody reaction that we might see occurs after a latent period of an injury following a accidental or a lens rupture the treatment here is a medical to decrease iop immediately and later on we go for uh, aspiration of the content 
plus if there is a uveal inflammation we will give steroids and cyclopegics to control that so the medical management in these cases are immediate and this is what we should know about phacogenic glaucoma thank you